across the globe, our Nicole Chadwick has more on what a group of Elon students are doing in Switzerland. But we're 95 days away Four from the, the excitement and glory of the London Olympic Games. Nicole Chadwick couldn't join us right now because of technical problems, but some members of the Elon community are getting ready to cross the pond to go, see, to go work for the Olympic Games. Elon professor Max Negan will work with NBC's live coverage of the Olympics, a job he's done before. I get to work with some of the most talented individuals in the world in terms of editors and producers. Um, and then I get to bring that knowledge back into the classroom and share that with the students. So I think there's a direct correlation between what I'm experiencing at the Olympics and then what I teach in the classroom when I come back. Elon student Doug Williams is also headed to London this summer. He joins us live tonight to talk about his big internship with NBC Sports. Thank you for being here, Doug. No problem. Happy to be here. So tell us what you'll be doing in London with the Olympics. Well, I'm going to be a production intern. Uh, NBC Sports is so busy right now coordinating for the Olympics that I actually really don't know much about where I'm going to be living and what exactly I'm going to be doing yet, um, which I'm sure has you know my parents going crazy. But at the same time, I'm very excited. I'm going to be a production intern. I'll be doing whatever they need me to do. So why did you pick the Olympics? I mean, what are you looking to get from this experience? Well, I've been to the Olympics before. I went in Torino and Salt Lake City and Atlanta, which I don't remember because I was so little. But in general, it's, there's a vibe at the Olympics that is just insane. There's action constantly. And um, I've actually been inside where the MB NBC uh, studios will be. And it's just a big platform. It's a giant uh, movable platform where their entire crew works. And uh, I guess it's just a giant truck. <laughs> well, that sounds awesome, and we wish you luck with that. Thanks for being well, thank here, Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Back to you, Sophie. We reestablished that connection. Here's our Nicole Chadwick from Switzerland. This team are in Geneva, Switzerland this week, covering the Internet Society's 20th annual meeting. The Internet Society discusses current and pertinent issues about the Internet. And this year's topic, what is your hope for the future Internet? Important speakers at this event include Vint Cerf, the chief internet evangelist of Google, and Jimmy Wales, the founder of Wikipedia. For more information on Imagining the Internet and the Internet Society, visit our website at imaginingtheinternet.org. And for live updates throughout the week, you, you can follow us on Twitter at Imagine Internet. In Geneva, I'm Nicole Chadwick, Phoenix 14 News. In the past two weeks, gas has dropped five cents a gallon, making the national average $3.91 for a gallon of regular, according to CNN. The North Carolina average is still lower than the national average. Gas here is $3.84 per gallon. This is the first time gas prices have dropped since December. With gas prices down, Phoenix 14 wants you to keep more money in your wallets. Here are the best prices in the area. The Marathon Station on Haggard and University Drive has the cheapest gas, costing you only $3.79 a gallon. The BP Station in downtown will cost you $3.84. The Sitgo Station on Church and Williamson has gas for $3.79 a gallon. And finally, the Shell on Church and St. Mark's has gasoline for $3.78 a gallon. A big storm left some students in the dark Saturday night. Residents of North Area reported their electricity dipped on and off throughout the storm, leaving many without power. The wireless network was also down after the storm. Students reported issues logging onto the internet. Today was cooler than your typical April 23rd, but don't worry, the rest of the week should be a little warmer. Here's your Phoenix 14 five-day forecast. Both Tuesday and Wednesday will be partly sunny with temperatures in the mid-60s. On Thursday, temperatures will reach high 70s, but you may need an umbrella since there will be isolated thunderstorms all day. The weather will be back to normal spring temperatures on Friday with sunny skies and highs in the mid-70s. Celebrate 2012 is this week. Both students and faculty present their work from the year in academics and the arts. There will be showcases in photography, drama, music, and art, and readings of various literature and poetry. Check online for a full list of the times and dates of the events. While Elon celebrates the week, one Elon student is celebrating her talents both at Elon and away from campus. Our Elizabeth Cantlener followed her as she shared her passion with the community. It's something I've done my whole life in some aspect. Like I was to I want to go on and be a jazz vocalist like as a career or as part of my career. 
When I got back from Europe after my freshman year, we went abroad with the jazz ensemble and we were just playing and I was singing for all these people and like I sang at a market for like 5,000 people and it was just such a rush and people were coming up to me and commenting on, you know, that we did a great job and how great I sounded and I, it just made me realize that I could do this and take the next step and try to do it as a career and not just have it as a hobby. And it took me forever to figure out where I knew I wanted to sing, but I didn't know what. And jazz has just fit perfectly. Um, it's just something that rhythmically I'm attracted to. Like the feel of it is so loose and free, and I love that. Uh, I started playing the piano when I was like four or five, so I've just grown up with it. And it's just a really awesome outlet. And I think everybody should give it a try and music is something that's universal. I haven't ever met a person that just doesn't like music, so I think it's something that everybody can connect to and relate to. Thank you. Rolling pin, the silver sifter, and the bronze measuring cup. Elon walked away with more than full stomachs at the Biscuitville Bowl. An update on one Elon dancer's high kick into the big leagues. Stay with us. Another research presentation, May Langford looked into new fad and sneakers, Skechers Shape Ups. Um, I think it's interesting when students are doing research on popular um, trends in the markets. And so it, it'll be interesting for them to see the scientific basis or lack thereof of popular shoes and whether or not they work and why Maybe they should or shouldn't spend their money on those types of things. Take seven local colleges, add jelly, flour, grits, and milk. Mix thoroughly and you'll get one event that's a little messy, but all for a good cause. Arcadia O'Brien got a taste of the Biscuitville Bowl. Two, one, go! Students got free breakfast Saturday morning and then burned off those calories at the 7 Campus Scramble. Colleges in the area gathered to compete in the 5K sponsored by Action Greensboro and Biscuitville. Students came out to get their biscuit and what goes better with a biscuit than a side of grits? And we got together with a lot of the students and they came up with this idea of running through these biscuit themed obstacles. Runners stomped in tires filled with grits, <laughs> sifted through a flower shower, slid down a buttermilk slip and slide, and crawled through jelly before crossing the finish line. Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah, it was gross. Other than Elon, students came from schools including Greensboro, Guilford, North Carolina A&T, and UNCG to compete in the race that benefited outreach program Urban Ministries. Race sponsors hope that students will want to stick around after graduation. We want to bring together the college students to have fun and to know that they, this is a town that embraces the fact that they're here. Elon graduate and Biscuitville CEO Bernie Jennings has lived in the area for 25 years. They'll want to you know, stay here and live in the community because we just think it's a great place to live, and a fun place to live. Runners, Students didn't walk away with empty stomachs or empty handed. I have a faculty at Elon. <laughs> right. Elon won the golden rolling pin and the silver sifter for first and second place in the individuals race. But it wasn't about the trophy as much as the fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to get dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Katie O'Brien, Phoenix 14 News. The race was part of the larger Biscuitville Bowl, which included a Brander Biscuit marketing campaign, where students created their own biscuit to be sold in stores. Greensboro College won with their Buffalo Biscuit. Elon's Campfire Biscuit got an honorable mention. But first, the combination of fancy dresses and intense sports. Find out more after the break. Surf Day 2012 is senior Steven Rosenbach Norden. He focused his research on the combination of religion and a hobby. Well, the important thing about gaming is that it doesn't have to just be something that's fun. It can be something that you learn from, something that you can be inspired by. My entire uh, sort of religious studies experience was inspired by sort of my religious experience with video games. So I would hope that students would uh, realize that they can use games to sort of springboard their interest in learning. And I'm hoping that they'll come by because I do have some interesting clips. I've got some humor in my show. and. Um, 
I hope to make it interesting, you know, to prove that uh, video games can be a teaching tool as well as just, you know, a fun time waster. Students tested their strength at the annual Campus Rec Bench Press Competition. Prizes were awarded to the top men and women in down. each weight class. The competition was close, but in the end, the winner for the men was David Hirsch, who benched 315 pounds. In the women's division, Jamie Cunningham won by benching 115 pounds. With summer only a few weeks away, some people are starting to think about their beach bodies. Here are a few tips from fitness magazines to help you look your best this summer. Work out three times a week. Once a week, find a cardio activity that makes you enjoy and makes you sweat for 45 minutes to an hour. The other two days, do an interval workout for 30 minutes. Watch out, watch what you eat. Make sure you correctly portion out food and eat around 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day. Finally, be confident. You will look your, and feel your best if you're happy with the way that you look. Last week, we told you about freshman Ellie Sarfert, who aspires to be one of the famed Rockettes of Radio City. She entered a social media contest that gives the winner the chance to audition for the famous Rockettes. We're happy to report that Sarfer won the contest and will receive free airfare and hotel accommodations with the opportunity to be among the first to audition for the Rockettes at the beginning of May. We wish her the very best of luck. Women's rugby played a little differently this week. They played in prom dresses. Prior to the start of the first game versus Guilford, players got in the prom spirit with a wobble. But then it was business as usual in their dresses. Elon beat both Guilford and UNC Wilmington. Both games were played just for fun and to give some of the senior girls more memories before they leave Elon. Really sad. Um, Elon rugby has been a part of my life since like, the first week of Elon when I was a freshman and I've been the captain for the last three semesters so it's just played such a huge role in my life. And so it's sad to graduate and leave so many things but especially leave the family that I've, I've had here and I won't be able to see them all the time. It's so sad. That's all we have for this Phoenix 14 News. There will be a big there will be big changes coming to the broadcast. Find out the exact details on our last show of the semester on May 7th. But be sure to stay with us throughout the week for the news that matters to you. Follow us on Facebook and like us on Twitter. And also be sure to check out our website. From all of us here at Phoenix 14 News, have a great week, Elon.